The excitement for me is actually seeing a germinal idea just keep going, 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 and how different people give support along the way. For me, the earliest ideas were all about this sense of how do we tell a historical story without being too literal? How do we actually be inspired by history rather than be locked into it in a biographical way? The, the clearest way of talking about the style is to think about it musically, that, um, that we're putting together, whamming together, sometimes mashing together quite uh, contemporary music with much more lyrical, traditional, uh, traditional music as well, that we're putting together quite diverse forms musically and, uh, and hopefully we'll be doing that visually as well. As an artist, you see the white, the white page, you see the, the history, you know, the, the, the sense of what that white page is saying and you can either jump into it and create something or you can run away from it and feel scared to write your own history. So for me, you write an idea and you might, oh, you, you know, that might go somewhere, that may not go somewhere, but then this kind of project, you see everyone coming on board and supporting it, you feel like that one little idea keeps growing and growing and growing and it's become something quite strong. So I Am Eora for me is, 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 is as much about the roots as it is about the kind of branches and the aspiration. Living life like white, living life like light, 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 living life like white, living life like light. Living, laugh like white, living, laugh.